Hey everybody, it's the Yellow Chili, and we're back for another episode of Let's Play, or Let's Go Hunting, maybe. Uh, I have decided to return to the um, arid planet here uh, and hunt for some creatures. Uh, first of all, because we got hungry on the way here, and we do still have some emergency rations, but I kind of want to conserve them, and as we're on a planet that has an abundance of food, we can just... Um, you know, use that food. We're making another energy bar from a um, from vegetables that I just picked up, and um, yeah, like I said, uh, we're gonna continue hunting here for these um, what you call it? What are they called? Lizard mules or something? And let me just uh, fix something real quick here. All right, that should be better. Um, because as you, some of you might have noticed in the last video, or even the one before that, my uh, green screen was all messed up, and now I'm kind of messing with the settings to get it working perfectly. And, um, yeah, whenever I see that flickering behind me, um, I need to kind of adjust that. So, uh, but it should be fine now, actually. I shouldn't be seeing any, any of my background, any uh, white flickering in the background, so... Let's eat that right now, and let's put all of this in the container controller. Oh, what I did in the meantime, too, by the way, was um, I added an armor locker to this SV and did some asteroid mining. We are now really good on Pentaxid. I mined uh, 54 or 53, I believe. Um, already converted half of that into refined Pentaxid, so we should be good on that. Let's make some, some grilled steak here with the SV food processor, um, or more the SV constructor. And it's kind of getting dark, so let's not continue hunting these guys, but let's go uh, west instead. So we can use the sunlight. There's the abandoned factory that we partly looted before. We kind of want to keep an eye out for more alien buildings. There should be some more. There's an abandoned mine. Wait, did we loot that abandoned factory? I am not 100% sure. Uh, I did make some ammo for the shotgun and the plasma rifle, so we should be good on that. We could actually go in there this time. Which I think is what we're gonna do. But, in order to do that, we're gonna have to mess with these plasma drones, which is gonna take a while. Hope that they can't get high enough to hit us. And one more thing we have to hope is that our ammunition will be enough to kill that large minigun drone, because that will give us ammunition. We're gonna have to avoid that plasma drone. I think we have to be farther away than 400 meters, then they'll call off their attack. Maybe more. Increase that to 500. Yeah, I think he's he's going back down. Guy still coming? Look like it. Please, man. We don't need the plasma drone at all. We 
do want the minigun drone at our position because it'll supply us with more 25, no, 15 mil ammo, I believe. Come on, man, go away. Go back to that factory you're guarding. Good. guys coming. There's the troop transport though. I wouldn't mind the troop transport setting down the troops here at all. Because it's not where we want to go. I don't want to get out of the area. This is what I wanted. So let's um, first of all take that. Connect to that container controller. We can put this stuff right in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the ideal location for your troops, man. We have more ammunition, which means we can now take on this other guy. I think the next thing we're going to build is decent weapons for this thing. Like, the, the, these miniguns or gatling guns, they're okay, but either we upgrade this to four, or we get new weapons, because it's just too tedious always having to aim at these guys for forever, basically. Just kind of want to be a little faster. And here's ammunition for something we could actually... Um, use very well. We could use um, plasma charges. Oh no, it was just despawned. Okay, well anyways, let's get the other plasma drone we shot down. basically have a great supply of uh, plasma ammunition. Stakes two, that's right. I think this is the one we were at before. We probably probably looted some stuff near the surface that didn't quite go in. Let's... Oh, wait. Let's not do that. Before we go in, we're gonna exchange this. Oh, we have a lot of boosters in here, I believe. Let's exchange that, too. We need a temperature boost? I don't think we do. We're gonna take that radiation protection boost. We're now protected against the radiation of 19, because in here there's going to be some radiation. 
We did loot this, didn't we? Another troop transport, okay. Well, feel free. You're right behind this wall. Okay, yeah, we looted all of this. This we didn't, apparently. Shoot. Well, I am glad we have this T2 Sniper. Multi-boost. I'm gonna go right back and exchange that after we loot this, all of this here. Because the multi-boost is just great in every respect. I usually go um, with a medium armor and with uh, three multi-boosts because that gives you enough um, temperature resistance and also uh, radiation. Because the multi-boost is just... like It gives you, as you can see here, six heat protection, three cold protection, so three of them means 18, nine, and three radiation protection. Uh, along with the medium armor, which, which gives you 20, 20, and four. So you're at 13 radiation and... Um, well, it's just basically great. So let's ex exchange that. Let's see what goes bad first. 34, 68, the, the meat. Definitely the meat, so we're gonna have more of that. Let's uh, put some more stuff in here. And the taxi tank. Is there really a troop transport approaching, or was that just like a delayed warning for that other troop transport? May have been that. Alright, now the only thing we have to be careful is uh, alien parasites, dermal parasites, endoparasites, and the like. Hit that guy? Yeah, I did. That door? Oh no, there's the troop transport. We have to get out of here. Not because I am afraid they're gonna come in, but because I'm afraid they're gonna attack the ship. And we really don't want to be stranded here. It would be an interesting turn of events. Hey, we're on the dead starter. Oh, now we're on an arid starter. Oh, shoot. There's the scorpion, shoot. Can't even get out of here without three multi boosts. Like the three multi boosts, you usually can. Jesus. Controls, when it comes to edges and stuff, are really, really shitty in this game. Because you like. You fly off edges, you, you can't stop exactly at an edge, you take one step too far and you're, you fall down. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do a trick here. So this is basically, you jump up without the jetpack on, but with the shift key. Then you enable the jetpack and jump up again. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I didn't want to do that either because I'm very, very afraid we're gonna fall. Never mind, let's take care of our ship first. Is there anybody here? No, good. Where is this guy?
really want to kill him. Okay, I think we have to do that trick again. Check if there's any of these fuckers running around here. You. That guy was quite harmless. I attempted to take the, the vessel inside because they rarely come inside UI. Yeah, we took this guy out, I believe. Alright. Back inside. Have some food. Right now, I really regret not making a Wi-Fi module for this thing. Let's see if we can find some stuff that allows us to make one. If we can make it at all with the... With the SV constructor, we may not be able to make it anyway. We could theoretically, we need a computer and electronics. Well, since we haven't looted these boxes here, we should be able to. There's another entrance. We should be able to find some of that. I looted this. Looks like it. Did I loot this one? Yeah. Okay. No computers in here. Lots of motors. We don't really need those. I guess that's it. Yeah, electronics and computers we need. In that case, let's make another steak. right away. We still have fried vegetable, which only give us 32 food, but hey, it's 64 we have two. That will be fine. We're not taking the fast way down. Could just jump down where we just uh, found that scorpion, but we're not going to do that because I want to check if there's any containers here that give us electronics and stuff. Another medium armor, great.
I am somewhat afraid that something might just pop up here. Yo. Seems to be stuck. I don't actually mind. It's my fault this guy spawned in this cage. And anybody who said anything bad against our T2 sniper here should be stoned. Because we really, we can really use it right now. Two shotgun comes in handy too. A night vision, beautiful. I think, is this the thing? No, there's nothing against uh, Dermal Parasite or something. Do... More food, great. They're all stuck. Well, that kind of makes things easy. Oh, shoot! Get the hell out of here, man. Apparently, not all of them are stuck. That was intense. Now that we've gone almost all the way back, we might as well just uh, drop off our stuff at the SV. Oh, we landed in here, didn't we? Uh, I'm quite tempted. Dig a hole here. Actually, let's not do that here, because we need to be connected to the container. But I'm quite tempted to dig a hole to get the remaining components that we need to make the wireless connection. Good find, good find. Actually, no, let's put these here, put the milk in there, we might go bad, I don't care, I don't have any use for milk right now. Let's connect. How much do we have? Yeah, I think. Yeah, we 150. Might not need to make all three base resources. Apparently, we do. We can make a computer. Okay, so how about you start making. Oh, 
copper and silicon. How about we get more stone? Glad we have a drill now. It take forever with the multi uh, with the survival tool. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, and you can't start making anything if nobody turns on the power. It will not be fine. Because it's only 204 and we 25. I know. Right, we should be good now. Yeah, we still have more than 150 left. That's great. I'll see you guys when I have the Wi-Fi connection done. Alright guys, we're back and we just finished our um, Wi-Fi module, which should be in here. And in order to attach this to our small vessel, we're just going to lift off a little bit. Then see underneath here. We're gonna place it in one of these empty spots here. Alright, that's fine. Now let's land again. Okay, one thing I still wanted to do is um, turn this on, turn the constructor on, and use those la these last two pieces of meat make grilled steak, but we don't have to stay here now because we have Wi-Fi and it should be good enough to be accessed from all, um, from the, the entire area underneath this, um, abandoned building. Just in case. Yeah, and here we find our electronics, of course. Something you can also do. Just access this, this directly from here. Transfer everything directly in here. We're gonna eat this. Buddy. Sometimes these guys spawn in the weirdest positions. How much time this takes with the T2 shotgun? Imagine we only had a T1 here. We'd be screwed. Bye. If I remember correctly, there are more here though. You're not sure if there's a trap door anywhere. Use your multi-tool to scan the floor. There you go. Okay, this is where it gets really tricky. Because if you look down here, you have two very big guns.
Okay, these two guns, are we just gonna stay behind this, um... ...screen? These two guns, they will kill you. If they each hit one shot, you will be dead, unless you're wearing heavy armor with the armor boosts. But... If you look here, there's something that says turret control. So if you drop down here and make a run for that, you may be able to disable the turrets. The, the switch is exactly under the sign right here. What you're gonna want to do is use your drone to distract them first, because they take a little while, um, take a while to acquire their target. So you're gonna want to make them turn around so that they focus your drone. Apparently, they can shoot through holographic screens. And then you, you're going to want to drop down here and r make a run for that switch. And then the only thing you also have to do is evade all those creatures down there. But this is something we're going to do in the next episode. So if you uh, are already very, very tense and want to see me die, then uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, share the video or leave a comment. I will gra greatly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.